The need for instant gratification is the biggest killer of any business and dream. And this is something I've struggled a lot with because if you come from a, a employment background and you are used to getting paid for the work you do, you have this weird mindset that it's unfair if you need to do work and, and you don't get anything out of it. And this same thing can be in relationships and it can be in fitness and all kinds of things that you need to be consistent over a long period of time to really see results. The instant gratification mindset is the biggest problem in the modern world because and is the reason why so many people are unhappy and unsuccessful <clears throat> in their life. There's a paradox here. You don't get anything cool and anything big without a lot of effort and a lot of struggle. That's just how it is. Because if we could get everything we wanted with minimal effort, it wouldn't feel like anything. And you probably have some experience in your life where you put massive amounts of effort and you get nothing in return. But then one day everything clicks and you get something out of it. And that feeling when you've put so much effort into something and you finally get the reward, it's priceless. And this is why the struggle is all worth it. It's not worth it if you quit when you are struggling. And this is the whole point. You need to keep going. You need to show up. You need to be consistent. And there are different kind of tools and measurement that you can be grateful for the journey. And this is by setting up small goals, celebrating even the smallest win, even the thing that you made today. You, you got your checklist done. You had your three things you wanted to do and you did it. Wow, write that down. And this is one of my, my mentors in a, in a community says that you need to have this tiny wins journal and every day you should journal your smallest wins and your big wins. And if you ever struggle and you have imposter syndrome, go into that journal and, and look for those wins and it will automatically make you feel better. Another way to get out of this harming self-talk disbelief thing is to have testimonials because we've all worked with someone and we all have some kind of proof of what we've done and if we go in and and look at those and read those we're gonna instantly remember like oh actually i am enough i am worthy i can do stuff it's just the limiting mind and, and the feelings that take over when you struggle that are the worst and for me it's sometimes it just cripples me and I'm like oh I'm so bad at everything I'm just so shit and wordless and my mind starts going in this downward spiral until I realize I take a break and I'm like oh, that was just like my mind is playing tricks on me and it's not true another tool to use to really step up your progress and and to get ahead is to start looking for opportunities and you all probably know the red car theory but i'm gonna share it anyway so let's say i ask you how many red cars did you see today you probably said none but if i would have told you in the morning to look for red cars you would have seen some red cars today especially if you live in a city and and this just proves the point that if you start intentionally looking for stuff you will start finding them it's not that they suddenly appear from somewhere they've always been there the possibilities are always there but our mind is so limited and the capacity in our head is limited so we only see what we intend to see what we seek and what we look out for so the thing here is to really be intentional, set goals 
and, and start looking for challenges because then you start finding them and all challenges are opportunities. And the more you go out of your comfort zone, the more you will in advance in life. Okay, this was just a quick video from me. Please like this video, comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.